Hello, in this video, um, I'm going to demonstrate to you B3 on how to create groups on your course. Okay, so once you go to your course, once you are at the main page of your course, you click on the, on the settings menu here, then you click on more, and then you click on users, and then you will find the groups here. Okay. So if you don't have any group set up on your course, this is how it will appear. <laughs> Supposedly all the groups that have been created will appear here and the member of the group will appear here. But since we don't have any group, um, we have to, create, to go down here and create a new group. Let's say we call this one uh, group one. Uh, we can skip the group ID. We can also skip the group description. And the, I, I think the ROM and key is also not necessary. We can also skip it. If you have a picture that you would want to define the group, you can also put up a picture here. Otherwise, anything else is not really necessary. You can go ahead and save the changes. Now we have group one. As you can see, it in case zero in the brackets, which means there are no group members added to this group. So if I click on this group, I will then be able to use this uh, option here add and remove users so that I can add some of the users. <clears throat> so I can add a number of users. For example, if I if I hold the control key, I can make uh, multiple selections. Um, let's say I add three to this group and I click on add. And then in that case, now I have three members on, um, on this group one, okay? So when I'm done, I can click back to groups and I want to create this next group. I will come to the option of create group. Maybe I'll call this one group two. Then, like I said earlier, you can skip all the other stories and then you just come straight here. Now you can see that group two is here, but it's got zero members and it's selected. So I I would make sure that it's the one which is selected. As you can see, it appears uh, gray. So I click on add users. And then I can um, I can hold the control key to have um, multiple selections. So I then have three members here. And I go back to groups. If you want to create more groups, you go on and on in the, uh, in the same fashion. But um, let's say, let's create group three. All right, now with group three, um, I want you to take note of the fact that um, sometimes you're, 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 you have a lot of students. So you might, the list might be too many to display here. And the system might tell you this is too much to display. So if you have a, a list already, um, on your uh, maybe on on a file or so you can search for a specific name here so if i search fiona then fiona will appear here if i search um, <coughs> gabriel then gabriel will appear here then i can just click and add so that is now for you who have a lot of students you will need to make use of the search and you unfortunately you need to do student by student okay um you can you also have a, an opportunity to auto create groups okay if you want the system to allocate the groups by itself automatically if you choose the option of who auto create the groups the system will just ask you the group naming it maybe one two three and so on auto create based on number of number of groups um or member of who members per group so and then you can indicate if you choose uh, number of groups you just need to indicate uh, how many members do you want per group okay but if you indicate a member per group it will also be the same um, you need to indicate how many members per group okay so group mess messaging is not necessary those who will be added to the group are only students so if you have other people added to your course just make sure that it's not everybody, but it's just your students that you want them to be added to the group. If you click on um, submit, then it will, the system will create equal groups automatically from all your students. But since I don't have students on this and I have fewer people, 
I will choose not to create this one, but I hope you get a picture. You'll be able to if you click submit it to to create. So this is it about creating groups. In the next video, we'll look at now how do we assign specific activities to the groups. Thank you.